pleased that I could make a contribution to a guy that um, did a lot for me in my career. Um, yes, he tested me at times as well, but it's all part of education of being a manager and a coach and learning how to deal with players and giving them the responsibility, the responsibility of captain and seeing them lifting the Premier League trophy was, um, you know, you, you feel so so fulfilled when you see something like that, you've made a decision and uh, you, you see the guy lifting the cup and, you know, also taking a sense of more responsibility on the pitch and off the pitch as well. So, brilliant tribute to Fernando today. The fans are should take a bow. We, we should take a bow to the fans because they were absolutely stunning today and that was just a real show of strength, strength and devotion to Fernando. Turning out was great. Last time I was here, uh, old range against old Milan. That was uh, <laughs> a great turnout. Now again, I mean, uh, so much uh, respect to uh, our fans. Yeah, it's always fantastic because it's a great reunion to see all your teammates, uh, the old stories uh, we telling each other, and of course for the charity uh, for Fernando, and uh, he's really suffering and struggling with his health, and uh, it's really sad what you see. It's always a pleasure running out of the tunnel and uh, see the see the crowd. Uh, it was great. Um, but also very emotional. Yeah, mixed feelings. Uh, yeah, fantastic atmosphere as always here at Ibrox, and uh, of course uh, as well sad uh, situation with it, Fernando. But uh, yeah, he, he's very positive, and, and, and we have to stay behind him and, and, and be positive too for him. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, the crowd unbelievable. Uh, but these are the Rangers supporters, the best ever. So uh, yeah, I mean, tremendous support he, he got today. I think was. Special, special night for him as well. Well, of course, the reason why we're all together for Fernando, it's not the nicest to see Fernando in the state he is just now. And to be honest, that was the first time I've seen Fernando in front of me and talking to him since, since uh, we played together at Ibrox. And it was really sad to see, but it, it's amazing to, to run on the pitch again. And, and the, the atmosphere was incredible. And uh, the reception he's got was just outstanding. And he really deserved that. And, and, and it's very sad to see a boy like him to at the way he's just now. It's a pleasure really and uh, it's always great coming back here. We've obviously had a couple of charity games in recent years so just come back, you know, just speak to Barry after the game or two as we're getting changed and he says you just don't you don't realise how big a club and how much you miss it. And it's like that, it has a, a, a special place for us and uh, I think each individual player is a special part of the heart for this club. Heavy, heavy legs um, <laughs> but you know it's for a good cause and as I said that's why I came and you know, decide to, to play and, you know, because it's for my friend, you know, and, you know, who's going through a very difficult time at this present time. So, you know, apart from that, um, you know, just want to be here, back with the boys and most of all, you know, to see Fernando. Fantastic, you know, um, once you, you experience uh, playing at this club, you know, it's a special club and, um, and it's always good to be back, especially in a, a day like, like today, you know, for, for Woody Cause and for Fernando. Um, so it was a great day. It reminds you about the time when you were playing for Rangers here. Uh, we knew every time we played home it was always sold out, always fantastic atmosphere. Especially the, the games against Celtic and the European games, they were, uh, they were special. But uh, yeah, I always get goosebumps when you come on the park, you look around you, sold out, always a great uh, atmosphere. And today as well, I think uh, a compliment for all the people who came and uh, actually bought a ticket. For Fernando, it's absolutely fantastic to see so many people, 40,000, it's, it's unbelievable. I think this is only possible in Scotland. So it was a great game and the turnout, you know, I think everybody was so surprised, you know, you know 41,000 was fantastic, you know, and he deserves it. You know, I mean, when you see what's happened to him, it's just a, such a shame and, you know, I mean, he, does, he took it as a, as a champ and, you know, the fans were absolutely outstanding and so was the players on the pitch, you know, it was great and also for us to meet up with all the old boys and stuff like that, but it was all about Fernando and, you know, I thought it was a great occasion for him. That's hard to see. Fernando like that when you remember him as a uh, you know 100 mile an hour bustling fullback and but also midfielder and to see him you know having that illness is is, is hard no hard I mean not as hard as it is for him uh, and you know what the boys going through um, it's it's difficult to gauge but we we're all very um, much behind them, you see the 
the the All Stars team, Kenneth Perez or the Dutch guys, you know, that came across. I know Perez is Danish, but uh, you know what I mean. They played in Holland and the Teddy sharing I'm fantastic for of these guys to come here for Fernando. Fernando was one of my best friends here, and he um, yeah he he made me feel straight away at home. Uh, yeah, uh, it's so sad to to see him suffer. I enjoyed the moments uh, when he came on, and. Uh, and do the lap of uh, honor uh, because you see all the re respect he gets. But on the other hand, it was also confrontating mm -hmm. because you saw he, he, uh, he was struggling with his body. And when I did the lap of honor, I hold uh, I hold him. Uh, but then you felt his his, his his body was like all the tensions, and, and that was confrontating. Then you see what uh, what uh, what the disease. Uh, do with your body and that was hard to take.